and also known as super lucky design, because it doesn't require any skill. Whatever you do with GNOME is unbelievable pretty and nice to use. And today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite new things in GNOME graphics. The headerless design, which seems to scale big and we see it more and more. One of the very first apps to introduce this, was actually a core GNOME app, and most specifically the ToDo app. On this case the header bar is still here, but hidden under the same color with the rest window. By the way, that has now turned to a standard design for the welcome screens of GNOME apps. Then again, entering inside the app, and the header bar has reappeared as usual. Slightly different is the case of the upcoming GNOME Builder in GTK4, that still camouflages the header bar with the window colors, but we have a title label and some icons, so we can easily tell the header bar is still somewhere there. And of course entering inside the app, we again have a normal header bar, even if with that theme isn't super clear. Perhaps like that? GNOME Tour app is a special kind of app that every page is actually a welcome page. And we may get the paging indicators on top which is not a very usual placement, but still, this is actually a normal header bar. We can of course inspect with GTK Inspector, just for making sure. Something to notice here is that the window isn't draggable from everywhere, but only from the header bar even if that is hidden, which is probably a mistake. Next we have the matter of GNOME Mini Apps, like Koa, that has a menu on a stealth header bar, but we can drag it from anywhere. Solanum has a blank header bar, and the main menu is located on the main window, which is also fully draggable. The exact same applies for metronome, menu here, and a draggable window. Kronos has this menu on header bar too, but both header bar and main window are using the same background, which by the way is in the add white a default color. Oh, also, we can only drag from top. Going to a little bit more complex applications, we see Amberall welcome page with a hidden header bar, and a draggable window. But actually getting inside on this app? We see this app still maintains a headerless look, and it is still catchable from everywhere. Of course the header bar robs some space from top, which isn't happening on bottom, so perhaps that doesn't look super great. But because GNOME uses client-side decorations, I think the only purpose of the default header bar widget is for having the window controls, so it is still possible to create completely headerless apps. Sort of. Which bring us to the next logical step, and the clapper video player with the floating header bar. So basically the header bar only appears if we hover or tap, and it also uses opacity revealing only the necessary controls. Exiting the window will hide the header bar with a fade out effect, and also the full window is draggable. But it's time for the movie main event, and we're getting back again to this terminal that has no name but it has a floating header bar, or it is gonna get one soon anyway. So we have this feature request asking for implementing something similar to Clapper, and the developer simply loves the idea and says he's gonna do it. Title bar, gazillion items menu bar, left toolbar, right toolbar, and tabs on bottom because we ran out of space on top. 